Hi friends, welcome back to Creo Tutorial series. So, in today lectures, we will make this 3D part in Creo Parametric. So, why I am creating so much video on the uh, 3D model parts? Because it is depend on the practice. If you increase the number of practice in the Creo, then the command you not need to uh, think about the command while using a software so practice is more important than the learning that what i am believing so let's start our lecture today and make this 3d part in the creo parametric so after seeing this part what you can see we will first make this sketch this front plane as you can see this arrow is uh, the, the direction of the front view so we will first make this front view okay so we will make first this arc or the circle of radius 22 for that click on new click on parts and click on ok click on extrude click on this circle uh, uh, this plane then click on this circle and make one circle radius is 22 so dia is 44 symbol the next thing we have to create uh, this circle also in which the dia is 15 and dia is 30 15 and 30 15 and 30 the center distance is from here up to here it is 70 so give the center distance 70 okay good the next thing we have to make this two horizontal line this two horizontal line or we can say this line so we will go in the line and create one line then we will go upper side create like this profile according to our data ok good so it is 90 so from the center it is 45 go in the dimension from the center to this line it is 45 ok the height is 10 mm height is 10 mm from this bottom to top height is 40 here up to here height is 40 ok this width is this is 50 this is 90 so 90 minus 50 is equal to 40 40 90 as you can see this distance is 5 mm directly we have get this distance no need to calculation here double click and give the dimension 5 it is very simple then this height is 70 so it will automatically take ok then this width is what this is 50 this is 50 from center to here 25 go in the dimension from here up to here it is 25 as you understand then go in the delete segment remove this unnecessary lines again 
we will select this line this line this 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 and this line go in the mirror and select this axis okay again go in the delete segment and remove this unnecessary lines as you can see our uh, front view is ready right now so we will extrude it up to 60 mm click on ok and give the depth 60 and click on ok here go here and select the view shading with edges or you can use the shortcut key control 2 I am using shortcut key control 2 ok so this portion is right now ready what we have to do is right now we have to cut this portion from the top view from the top view ok for that for the cutting we will go in the extrude select this face click on the normal view and first we will make the center line for that go in this center line and create one center line then we have to create one ok normal here go in the rectangle so we need to cut this point, this much portion so distance is 5 mm from this edges go in the dimension from here up to here it is 5 mm so we have given the dimension 5 mm what is the width what is the width you can take up to up to anywhere ok so I will take this rectangle up to this much distance then what we have to do we have to give this dimension what is the this dimension this is 40 mm so give here the dimension 40 mm simple click on ok reverse the direction and remove the material and remove the material up to depth of 50 mm so here give the dimension 50 mm ok and click on ok likewise our cut is right now ready then click on the this extrude part click on the mirror part select this plane and click on ok likewise it will mirror the command simple the next thing what we have to do we have to cut this part we have to cut this part for that we need a plane at the distance of 5 mm below this so how we will make that plane that is very important so as you can see this height is 70 70 plus this radius is 15 mm so from 70 plus 15 is equal to 85 85 and we need to create a plane at 5 mm below so 85 minus 5 is equal to 80 so we need a plane from this base at the distance of 80 mm so click on plane give the transition 80 mm and in the reverse direction so here give the dimension minus 80 and click on ok as you can see our plane is ready so click on sketch click on the normal view click on the normal view we will first create a center line ok our center line is ready then we will create one rectangle we will create one rectangle center rectangle or whatever the rectangle you, you want to create make sure you have not given any relation ok 
then this depth is 20 this depth is 20 mm okay not this this depth and 20 mm and how much this depth we have to give that we need to calculate that we need to calculate okay so as you can see here this dimension is 20 mm so this dimension is 20 okay but what we have to need this dimension for that we can use any number of dimension but we will make it up to but we will make it uh, it is larger from the 30 mm so i am considering it maybe 35 okay it is larger than this circle it is larger than this circle that's why i am give the dimension of 35 or you can manually make the 40 mm also and then click on ok then click on extrude reverse the direction and click on this remove material and click on ok likewise our cut is ready right now for the remove this plane the, the view of plane click on this button and deselect all so our part is almost right now ready unselect this so as you can see our part is completely ready with our CAD model okay so thank you very much guys for more updates subscribe and share